Okay, so the fastest way to move or migrate your projects, characters, motions, whatever, from Crazy Talk Animator 2 to, to Crazy Talk Animator 3 is to go to each one of these folders. You're going to have to go to the, um, the different tabs in stage mode. And you're going to have to go to these same different tabs in composer mode. And the reason why is because in composer mode, the parts, your body parts is broken up. And in the stage mode, these are like your whole character. So we'll start with projects. If you have custom projects or something, you can right click, hit find folder. I'm going to drag this over. I'm working out of a Mac. So these are all of my projects that's under custom. And I can do the same thing for the projects under template. So you can go ahead, highlight them. For me, for now, I'm going to copy them because um, I'm still using both applications. Uh, and then this is Crazy Talk Animator 3. Do the same thing. You can right click. You can go to custom. There's nothing here. Hit find folder. And this is the beauty part of it. So if you work out of this folder, you can move quickly because here is Crazy Talk Animator 3. And this is all of their custom folders. And if you go and create a new, um, have a new window created so you can see Crazy Talk Animator 3. Let's use this one actually. This will move much faster. And then you want to find the same um, folder before Crazy Talk Animator 2. Um, for my Mac, I know where to go to. Um, to get to it. Uh, maybe I don't, hold on. Laptop, systems, users, shared. Okay, so I'm not sure where Windows, the Windows folder is, but once you get to where your illusion folder holds all of your files, you can go into um, each one. Now one of these should be Crazy Talk Animator 2, and the other one should be Crazy Talk Animator 3. And because they have new additional folders in there, you can't just kind of go in here and copy paste. It's, it's smarter to go into each one, so if you want to get all your scenes, remember this is the custom tab, you will have to go back and do these same steps for your template tab but you can go to it and then go back over to crazy talk animator 3 go into scenes and then paste it and to just check to make sure it's working right here's crazy talk animator 3 here's scenes here's my custom tab and there they go i can just pop this right in And there it goes, scenes all created. So once again, to figure out where they're at first, go to any location. So if I wanna bring my actors in, I'm gonna go under um, characters. Right now in Crazy Talk Animator 3, I have no characters under custom save. So I'm gonna slide this over. Go back to my folder that I was in. And I'm kind of kind of back paddle back to Crazy Talk Animator 2. And I'm gonna go under characters. Here's all my custom characters that I've done. Highlight everything. For now, again, I'm gonna copy it. I don't want to move mine because I'm still using both applications, and so I want both of them to be able to be available for me real quick. So I'm gonna copy it, go back to Crazy Talk Animator 3, go on the characters, and I'm gonna paste them. I 
and then I'm going to make sure great I'm gonna make sure um, this is great to talk animator too they're there by going to actors care oh, well you can see them they're all right here so anything I have created custom is right here for me to pop onto the stage And there's Hawk Girl. So hopefully that answers your questions. Um, the template one, they keep them in two different folders. So we can go back, go back, and go back again. If you're trying to do the ones that's under template, this is where you would go. Again, you still have your two folders. Make sure you know which one is which. This is two for me, and this is three. And I can do the same thing. I can get my old characters that may have came with my original series, whether it's buddy characters, items that you've already purchased. If you don't want stuff in your custom folder, if you want to move from custom to the template, you can do that too. You just move them over to whatever folder you want to retrieve your stuff at. And that's all you need to do. It's going to be a little tedious and time consuming because it doesn't look like Relusion has created a... Um, automation that will allow you to quickly do it but once it's done it's done and this is for me the best way i know how to get it done hope it helps take care